guys um good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to the witch's chamber my name is Anya. i'm so happy um that you are here okay no matter new or returning i really appreciate um all your likes your share your subscribes everyone um it really helps helps the channel going and it hasn't been easy if you have been with me um since the beginning um yeah anyhow and if you are new welcome i hope that you um that you will find what you're looking for um we're currently um in the strawberry full moon in the sun of capricorn so welcome everyone to this to this energy and it's a very um profound profound energy there's a lot of things um that are happening in the energy realm you may or may not experience May, may or may not be experiencing pardon me um all the energies but um it's an energy um of release um and if you guys haven't seen my most recent video i will highly recommend that you that you watch it because i feel like this is going to be a part two or a continuation from yesterday's reading and from the reading before okay so i'm going to be posting both of those readings in the description box once i'm done recording this, this this reading so yesterday we spoke about or we channeled the energy of release okay of the things that are no do not meant to be in your life anymore okay and today today we're going to tap into the wishes okay <laughs> yes to the wishes of or the things that your soul, your subconscious mind is really craving for, okay? So everybody, um, where should we begin? As a general energy, okay, um, what I have been feeling is this is, um, this is a time where um, as far as your wishes are concerned, as far as whatever it is that you want is concerned, um, at a collective, at a collective energy, I feel like um, for a lot of us, whatever you're wishing for, there's this blockage or this um, but, but, but energy attached to it. Okay, I feel like you may want to experience or have something. Um, that the society or whatever it is that you have been taught um, is no good for you. Okay, you may you may have been taught or or it has been ingrained in your mind that is wrong. Okay, this might be a taboo situation. This might be, you know, um a money situation, let's say, you know, you may come from a background or or a belief system, you know, where your ancestors or your parents who, you know, or your cross environment may think that, okay, money, you know, having lots of money is bad and your soul, you know, your, and look at the candle. Yes, this is just a confirmation. Your soul and your body and your, you know, and your psyche is really craving for lots of money, but, but, you know, having lots of money is wrong. You know, it's the making of the devil, quote unquote, you know. And that's not the truth, okay? That is not the truth, okay? Or it can be something else, you know? Let's say maybe, you know, <laughs> you're married, okay? You're married, you, you're, you have been in a long-term relationship for a very long time, but this relationship hasn't been serving you, you know, for whatever reason. Um, it's like you're not happy in it, but you have kids. As an example, and then you fall in love with with someone, you know, and you want to experience that love, right? You want to experience that that feeling of being in love, you know, maybe for a second time with whatever it happens to be the case for you. Or maybe you have never been in love, you know, and you want to experience that. But, you know, how can I experience this love if I'm married, if I have kids? Okay. This is that type of energy that we're 
um, that we're currently in and all my readings are timeless everyone okay so um so just so just remember that okay um you're supposed to be receiving the message of the reading of the video right whenever you happen to come upon it doesn't matter when the reading was posted okay and i keep mentioning that um have been mentioning that um before so um so everybody i feel like we are ready to dive in to the wishing jar okay this is actually what i'm starting for the first time okay we are in the energy of the ace of cups okay um it's an energy of a brand new beginning in love or an emotional fulfillment fulfillment as a whole okay so this is um what i'm going to be doing this is what i'm starting Aces are all about beginnings, um, and this is what I have been guided to do by spirit. Okay, this is going to help me, and, I, and I'm hoping that it is going to help you guys as well. So what I want you guys to do, okay, and of course you can pause the, you know, the video and can, you can come back to it afterwards. Um, if you are interested, okay, this is a very, very powerful thing that you can do in order to help you manifest your wishes, or what it is that you want in your life. Um, so grab a jar, okay? And I always say to everyone, you know, select something, select a jar that you are most attracted to, okay? So I have a whole stack of jars in, in my basement. So I, so, so actually this morning I went to, um, you know, to dive in. I went to, to the basement and I went to look for that, that, specific jar okay that jar that will draw my attention um so this is the jar that i have selected it's a clean jar okay it has no writing nothing and this white um lid okay and this to me symbolizes you know coming from a pure heart okay all my wishes are coming from are clean are pure are authentic okay this is um, the energy that I want to attract, okay, as a general, okay. So, yeah, oh my goodness. This was just a confirmation from spirit. I just saw, heard something outside and then um, um, the candle flickered. So anyhow, um, and I feel that's what you should be doing as well, okay. So make your selection, select your jar, the jar that you're most attracted to. Make a hole, make a hole in the jar. So that way um, you will be able to... To drop your wishes, okay, into the jar, okay. So, the first wish, okay, I want to um, make with you guys, okay. So, I'm going to select a piece of paper or a sticky note. I would, um, you know, recommend sticky notes. I feel like that these will be very um, efficient. That way you don't have to, you know cut up you know huge piece of paper you can just select a sticky note and 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 anyhow and then you can write on it and then you can put it in your jar so everyone i hope that you guys are ready okay so together um we're going to make a wish okay okay so let's begin I have and I attract infinite abundance into my life. Thank you. you spirit I'm going to put a heart okay I feel like this is a wish that most of us would want to have okay in their lives and me as well okay so writing in the pet present tense I have it's like I already have this this wish of infinite abundance in my life 
and you know at the end you know i want to feel grateful so i'm going i'm saying thank you for you know to spirit you know for giving me this abundance this infinite abundance thank you spirit and i want you guys really to be in the energy of feeling that you already have it and of feeling the gratitude you know of really feeling it in your bones you know thank you spirit so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fold our wish okay And then I'm going to drop our wish into the wishing jar. Okay. So that's all you need to do. Okay. This is a very powerful, powerful ritual. Okay. So everybody. um, Yes, this is an energy of wanting to, you know. Of wanting something that, you know, maybe... Um, a lot of people may be against, you know, um, because we're in the energy of the Capricorn full moon, right? And the devil energy, you know, quote unquote, is all about temptation, is all about obsession, fear, you know. I also picking up the energy that, you know, some of you guys, it's like your soul wants it, but, you know, your, th your 3D reality is like making you fearful it's like you may be afraid of having that wish or proceeding on that wish and it has to do with a brand new beginning because we're in the energy of the you know the ace of cups for a lot of you guys it has to do with love i'm going to be honest okay i would say 80 percent love 20 percent you know emotional fulfillment and you know and or career or financial fulfillment you know But it has to do with your emotion, has to do with your heart, okay? And in yesterday's reading, um, we saw, you know, a bleeding heart, right? And I feel that's what you're releasing. You're releasing, there's an energy of releasing um, that's going to bring you peace because we also saw in yesterday's reading, we saw a dove holding um, an olive branch and that symbolizes love and peace. So I feel this is what's coming. This is what you want in your life. Okay. So by releasing what you don't want, you're bringing in peace, peace of the soul, peace of the mind, peace to your life. Okay, Peace and love and also victory because we also saw the energy of victory in yesterday's reading. So you're going to be feeling victorious. Victory is coming to your life, everyone. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of... Um, Look at this cup, everybody. <laughs> well, look at this. This is literally Ace of Cups. Okay. And what is this Ace of Cups holding? It's holding, it's holding pink salt. Okay. To commemorate this. The strawberry full moon in Capricorn. Okay. Listen, this cup is very heavy. Okay. Somebody's holding a very heavy cup and it's bringing towards you. Okay, filled with with lots of love. Okay, I feel. Salt is also the energy of cleansing. Okay, so I feel like somebody. Um, this can be your, you as well, right? You're bringing the cup to you. Okay, you're filling your own cup. You're cleansing your old. You're removing, right? You're releasing what you don't want. You're cleansing your body. You're cleansing your mind. You're cleansing your soul and you're bringing love. You're bringing a pure heart. There's no more bleeding of the heart because the heart has been cleansed. Okay. And this is that energy for others of you guys. I feel it's somebody coming in with a very heavy, 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 heavy cup carrying lots of love and lots of emotions towards you. Okay. For some of you guys, this person may this may be someone that you know maybe you had a falling out with they're bringing cleansing energy they want to heal they want to purify 
Okay, the connection. But let's see, everybody. Let's dive into your reading. I don't know why I'm singing. Maybe you're dealing with a singer or a performer. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, so, abracadabra. <laughs> Listen, I don't know why I'm saying this, abracadabra. Some of you guys are doing some sort of a spell, or have made some sort of a spell during, like, this time, okay? And this will be, this is, will be a confirmation for you. But I feel like you're, you're the magician, okay? You're the magician, you're creating, you're creating your wishes. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. You are the creator. You are the magician. You have all the tools that you need to create your wish in the 3D. Okay. So let's dive in. Spirit, what is coming to us and the energy of the full moon Strawberry, full moon, and Capricorn. And the summer solstice. Wow. You're rising. You're rising up. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I mean, look at this. Look at this image. Okay. You are rising up. You're very protected. There's an angel. Okay. There's an angel that is coming, okay? There's an angel that is coming, and I feel like this image, okay? I feel like, because in yesterday's reading, we saw a dove, you know, car flying, carrying an olive branch. Today, we're seeing this dove standing, okay? With its wings, you know, upright, this dove standing. And I feel it has to do with peace because you have accepted your past. Because you have come to, to peace or to terms with it. Okay. I feel like you're being very victor because this is the image of victory. Okay. Of that dove, you know, standing upright with its wings outstretched. Okay. Because of accepting because of coming to terms to peace with your past, you are coming out very victoriously. Okay? I feel like this is you. Okay. You are you are this dove. You are this angel. Okay. There's a sense, there's victory coming. Okay. Now, there's also an energy of someone coming in. Okay, coming in pure with the dove, okay, flying, and there might be a distance between you, you and this person. Or, if that's not the case, I feel like this person is coming towards you. They're approaching you with the olive branch, okay. They want to bring peace into your life, I'm hearing, okay. This is pure, okay. This is pure energy. I feel like this person has overcome their shadow side, I'm going to be honest. They have overcome their fears. They may have been stuck in a, you know, fear reality. Maybe afraid of approaching you, if it's a new person, but... Or an old person, doesn't really matter. Um, but as an overall energy, as a collective, we see a dove flying with an olive, olive branch, and in today's reading we're seeing that dove standing, rising up with its wings outstretched. Symbolizing victory, okay? That's what I feel is happening here. You will be receiving some sort of a gift, okay? Either from spirit or from a person, okay? 
but there is a gift. This is a gift because you have released your past or whatever it is that you, you know, didn't want in your life. Whatever it happens to be, okay? This energy, this wish is, is like a gift, okay? And it's coming because this is what I'm seeing here. This is what I feel, okay? Some of you guys may be saying, well, this is like, you know, a rectangle, you know, like, what are you talking about, Tanya? Well, I feel the energy, okay? This is what I feel is happening here. You are being received. You are being... You are in, receive on, in the, the receiving mode in the Empress energy, okay? And this pink color is all about, you know, all about Empress energy. Yes, something is flying towards you, okay? For some of you, it's a, it's a change. It's a change. I'm seeing a stork. I don't know why I want to say it. I'm seeing a stork, and stork is all about changes, okay? Caring. Caring. A sack, okay? This is what I'm seeing with this image right here, okay? Some of you guys are about to be blessed. About to be gifted with a new baby. Okay, because storks and you know are all about babies, but babies are all about new beginnings. Okay, a stork, meaning change is coming with the sack, okay, with a brand new beginning, and that's that case ace of cups energy. Okay, this literally that's what it's coming, change is coming. Okay, Something about, see the letter M, okay, and the letter E. It's like me, me, okay, M, E, me, me. It's all about you, okay, it's all about me, me. See, we see another image of a bird, see? Yes, change is coming. I feel like, I feel like you're going to be working on yourself. I'm seeing like an image of a person, see? I had arms here. You're working on something. You are working on this E, I'm hearing. Whatever it happens to be for you. You fill in the blanks. That's what I'm hearing from spirit, but it has to do with an E. Okay? But you're working on something. Okay? Yes, you're working on yourself, but at the same time, you're working on something else. Okay? And it has to do with an E. Okay? Oh, you will be very surprised. Okay, I'm seeing like two eyes, you know, it's like... You'll be very surprised. Okay, I feel this is... Um, this is that tower energy that was picking up on in yesterday's reading. Okay? And look, we see a heart. You're going to be surprised. You're going to be shocked. Okay? With this heart. For some of you guys, you're going to be shocked that you have actually overcome. That you have actually come to terms with your bleeding heart. For others of you guys, this is a confession of love that's coming from someone. They are coming in as the dove with the olive branch. And we're seeing a heart here. Okay? And we also saw a heart yesterday, right? And I was showing you guys actually this heart right here. And I actually have found this heart. And I was walking, so yeah, I'm telling you. You're going to be shocked with this heart. Okay? With this offer. But ultimately there's there's victory. And this is that image. You're coming out victoriously. Out of this negativity or whatever it is um, that you're going through currently, okay? There's victory. But you have to believe, you have to release, okay? And make a wish, 
write it down, feel it. Okay. That's going to raise your vibration, raise your frequency. Okay. And put you in the energy of victory. Okay. This is an energy of transformation. I'm also picking up the Phoenix energy, okay, with this image right now. So, yes, it's like you're going to become a new person. You're about to enter a changed, a transformative, and, you know, time of your life. This is what you're entering into with this full strawberry moon in Capricorn, okay? Wow. Wow. So let's get you guys some specific messages, okay? Let's get your story, okay? Let's shed some light on your story, okay? I want you guys to pick a number. One and three, okay? So for number one, spirit... Number one, I feel like you're going to become more relaxed, okay? Yes, I, I know you may find it hard to believe right now, but I'm picking up a lot of re relaxed energy, okay? You may start meditating, you may start um, focusing on yourself, okay, instead of other people or on the things that you shouldn't be focusing on, okay? Let's see, number one spirit, please. Okay. Duality. You're coming to terms. You're accepting your past. Okay. You're coming to peace with your other self. Okay. We see the duality card here. Okay. The positive and the negative, the good and the bad. Okay. You're coming to terms with something. You're coming to peace with something. That's what I'm really picking up on with this energy here for others of you guys or for some of you should I say your other half is coming okay this is you know this is a person that's going to be bringing balance to your life there's an energy of balance there's a e Libra energy that's coming through okay you might be receiving I'm being drawn to this image here and we're seeing magnetism. You're magnetizing this person into your life, okay? I'm also picking up the energy. See, there's a bird. There's a communication coming in, okay? This person is extending their hand, their olive branch, you know? And there's a butterfly, exactly. There's a change coming into your life. Because there's some sort of a balance that's coming in. Okay. And please take it out resonates. This is still a general reading, right? This is not an individual reading. So let's see what the strawberry moon wants to tell you. Okay. What you need to know. But there's balance is coming. Okay. That's what I'm hearing for you. And you'll be able to finally relax. Okay. There has been in balance, and I feel balance is coming. Okay. Let's see. Three cards. Okay. One. Two. And three. Okay. Let's see what we have for you guys. <laughs> wow. 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 Okay. So, we just entered the cancer season. You might be a cancer. I feel like you're going to push through any insecurities that you may have, any fears, and this is that energy that I was talking about, okay? There's something that you're walking away from, that you're releasing right now in the cancer. I feel like we just entered the cancer season, if I'm not mistaken. You're going to push through it, okay? 
Do not give up. You're going to be able to walk away, to push, push through anything that is no longer serving you. This is that energy. You're walking away. Okay. You're walking into the water. Okay. Because you're being open. Okay. We have opened up to change. There's a change that's coming in. And we see the pinkish color here. Change is coming in right now. Okay. And that's that energy that Phoenix rising from the ashes. That's the energy that we're seeing in your reading. Okay. Because you're being open. Okay. You're pushing through the insecurities, through the fears, and you're being open. You're being open to change because change is coming. Okay. Change is coming into your life. What is coming? Prosperity. Money. You may be a Taurus. Okay. With the new moon, what's coming in is prosperity. That's what lies ahead. But you have to push through your insecurities. Okay. Maybe these are your beliefs. Okay. Something that you have been believing in. In the past, okay, you need to release it. Maybe it's, you know, you have been raised, you know, in an environment that told you that, you know, Money is evil, you know, having too much money, you know, is the works of the devil, okay? And that's what you're releasing, okay? Because you're open to change, okay? And what's this change bringing? Prosperity. Money, 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 money. That's what I'm hearing, okay? It's a very grounded energy, the Taurus energy, okay? Wow. Amazing, 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 everyone. Okay, so this was for number one. Let's see for number three. Okay, so if you have selected number three. Let's see what is coming for you. Okay. Let's get your story first. Okay. For number three, spirit. Thank you. You'll be thinking, listen, there's going to be something is going to happen where you're going to be. There's something that you're going to be very grateful for. Okay. Yes. You might currently be, you know, in the energy of gratitude, but more than anything, something is about to happen and you're going to be saying like, oh my gosh, thank you. You know, thank you for this. You know, let's see. For number three, spirit, the fox. <laughs> wow, you might be seeing foxes. I don't know, but um, but what I'm picking up with this card, you're going to come up with a very clever plan. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. You're going to come up with a very clever plan. You may not have thought that you are actually clever, but you are, okay? There's an energy of perseverance. The fox is the hunter. You're going to go after, I'm hearing from spirit, what it is that you want, okay? Because you want it, because it's good for you, okay? I feel like you also have someone in your energy who's going to quote-unquote, sneak up on you, who's going to take you by surprise. This person is very clever, I'm hearing, okay? This person has came up with a very clever plan with the fox being here, okay? Let's see. Let's see what the strawberry full moon has in store for you, okay? What this energy is all about. You're going to become smart in some way, I'm also hearing, okay? Very clever, very smart energy is coming through. Okay. You're going to be able to put two pieces together. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Okay, spirit for number three, please. You're going to be smiling about something. I don't know. Okay. What it is about, let's find out. Oh my gosh, we have the cancer, cancer, cancer. Okay. 
what the moon wants you to know is that you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so if you have been worrying, if you have been in fear, okay, about your life, something that you're going through, spirit wants you to know that you are safe. You might be a cancer, okay? Whatever you're ha about to do or encounter with the fox being here, know that you are safe. This is a safe energy, okay? You may feel lots of fear, okay? But it's actually safe, okay? <laughs> wow, it's all about balance. Look, we have the Libra energy, okay? So there's a strong Libra energy that came through for both piles. Some of you guys are actually have watched first pile and you're in pile two, okay? You're finding balance. There's all more of that pink energy. And it's all about balance, you know? Ultimately, it's all about balance. Someone wants to come in and make things right with you, I'm hearing. Wants to balance things out with you. You are on a new path. I'm being drawn to the path here. You are on a new path. You may not know it yet, okay? <laughs> wow, shine, oh my gosh. This is that sun energy. You might be a Leo. It's time for you to shine. You will have your victory. This is that victory energy with the shine being here. You're about to be very happy, okay? With the sunflower being here. There's something about flowers. Maybe you're planting flowers, um... But that's that same energy, you know, even though this is not a sunflower, this still has petals. There's something about petals, um, something about making a spell, making a wish with flowers, I'm also hearing, okay? Okay, this is very specific for someone. If you have been worrying about legal, legal matters, okay? Okay. Note that you are safe. Okay. Number one. And number two, things will balance out for you. If so far things have not gone to in your favor, okay, balance will be restored and you will be shining. It's like you're going to come out very victoriously out of that situation. This is for someone. Okay. But as a collective message, <laughs> you will gain some sort of a clarity. Okay, you will know that you are safe. Okay, there's some sort of a clarity that's coming and you will be able to shine. Somebody is going to shine some light on this particular situation. Okay, someone wants to come in, they want to balance things out with you, might be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't have to be the case with Cancer. Someone is very emotional. Okay, someone wants, I'm hearing from Spirit, someone wants you to feel safe with them. You may currently consider them as a sneaky type, as a fox. Um, but this person wants you to feel safe with them. Okay. This person wants to bring light into the situation. This person is going to make you very happy. Okay. You're going to be very happy whether you're connecting with a person or not. Okay. You're, you will bring balance into your life. You will be the one shining. You'll be very happy, okay? Something for someone is going to come in during the Leo season, I'm hearing, okay? Which is not too far away, believe it or not. Okay? But some sort of clarity, you'll be happy during the Leo season, okay? For a lot of you. Some sort of a climax will happen during the Leo season, that's what I'm hearing. Wow, 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 everybody. This is pretty amazing, don't you think so? If you do think so, then please please click on that like button, okay? Like the video, share, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, as always, everyone, I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and abundance, all the best, health and wealth. And listen, I'm just glazing at the clock, okay? And I'm really surprised that, you know, we're only into the, you know, 39 minutes or so. I feel like something is going to happen very fast for you, okay? It's like you're going to be in the energy of, well, where where did this time fly? It's like, you know, it's happening now, all of a sudden. So for some of you guys, listen, this is very specific. For some of you guys, if you have made a wish, 
in a wishing jar. This wish is going to manifest very fast. Okay. It's like all of already it has happened already. You're going to be in that energy. So I cannot, I cannot believe it. It, you know, it manifested already so soon, you know, anyhow, everybody, um, this was just an, an ending, ending statement to the reading. I wish you guys as always peace, love and abundance, all the best health and wealth. And I'm going to talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for being here with me. And by the way, happy strawberry full moon. It's lots of strawberries. Okay. Thank you guys so much.